and we're back on the road <laughs> now today we're just driving over to arkansas um we're gonna do a little antique shopping uh but tonight we're gonna stay uh at a airbnb that's a converted like 1967 caboose um It'll probably be kind of cold because it's like in the 40s <laughs> uh, but we're bringing s'more stuff and um, make a little bonfire so we're excited no road trip is complete without a McDonald's stop we don't have it yet <laughs> we don't have it yet we'll we'll film whenever we get our McDonald's <laughs> now you gotta take a sip Abby is uh, channeling her inner Ryan Trahan. <laughs> we just watched that series where he took a penny and went across the U.S. Yeah, to and deliver it was, a penny to Mr. Beast. Yeah, and it was pretty fun, actually. I mean, all he ate was McDonald's. Uh, yeah, he ate McDonald's every day, <laughs> which is what we've got. Wait. Oh. I think that's a weird bag. It is a weird bag. It's like comic. But we've got our McDonald's, and we're ready to go. We're on the road. Yeah. I don't know if there's any state signs or anything. Oh, there may be. I think I see it. It's uh, very dramatic. <laughs> Welcome to Arkansas. The natural state. <laughs> it said, buckle up for safety. Abby said she really thinks she likes the look of this cute pig. He's really cute. <laughs> He's a cute little guy. <laughs> Here's our first stop, which was actually uh, not planned. Oh my gosh. We have so uh, antiques and flea market that we saw by the side of the road. The planter? Yeah, for like the flower garden. Oh. It's not a broken bow. Like it's like oh, like a little bow. Little... Basket. Yeah, the bow's broken. But yeah. This is so sweet. You have little flowers or something growing in it. I found a new portrait that we need to recreate for our home, like above our fireplace or something. I think, uh, I think this would look good. Well, they have those like old timey like photo shoot opportunities. What, at like Branson or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we need to get you to put your wedding dress on and then we'll go to Branson. Unfortunately, I don't think that fits anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can make you fit. <laughs> so we're in Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Yes. And there's a specific one, a specific antique place that we were going towards, which is down the street a little bit, but we noticed like this whole row of antique shops. Yeah. So this is their little downtown area. We're just going to hit them all. Yeah. Zealand at that lavender farm I've become just like totally in love with the lavender either that or I'm just getting older and I'm turning into a grandma and I love lavender <laughs> Don't come any closer. Don't see all my wrinkles. <laughs> That's a beautiful piece. 
piece of art, especially if you put it out like in your home in the winter time. What about this piece of Very art? Very pretty. This is a beautiful piece of art. <laughs> oh, that's it's Weeby's kind of art right there. I don't think it's an original though. No. That looks like a print. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's called Daisies and Olives. This is the one we actually saw as one of the best ones in Arkansas. The best antiques in Arkansas. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's gonna be a long day. You love it. I do like looking through these vintage stores because you see all kinds of things, all these little nice vintage knickknacks. And then we've got, oh, the Lego Taj Mahal. That's pretty vintage. So these are like collector's plates of the movie Oklahoma. And I have three of them. I have these three, but I don't have him. Um, cause when I bought him at the time, he wasn't my favorite, but I feel like I need to finish the collection. So if you're ever out shopping and you find this one for cheap, tag me <laughs> or at me, DM me. Yeah. Abby's digging. <laughs> Look how cute she is. She's like really getting in there. She's pretty. <laughs> She keeps holding things up and going, look at this. Like, look at this. Hey, look how pretty it is. I'm trying not to like break things with my purse. <laughs> I probably should have left it in the car. <laughs> this is pretty cool because they've got some really old books. And I was just looking through wondering, oh, is there any Jane Austen? And there's a few. There is um, Sense and Sensibility. And they're pretty pricey well, because they are super, super old. But like this one's 39. If it was Pride and Prejudice, I'd probably get it. Weeby's always looking for like the cat stuff. And these are pretty epic right here. <laughs> you don't want those? I don't understand why. I don't know where I'd put those. I mean... Um, so Weeby, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to pass. Abby always seems to gravitate to the bookshelf. Always looking for some interesting old books. Mm. <laughs> so we are leaving Prairie Grove now, and uh, I, I mean, I really feel like we could have spent all day there. Yeah. There was, I, I don't even know, like eight or so mm -hmm. antique stop shops. Um, so now we're headed to Fayetteville. There's a couple specific ones we're going to, and then we may just see stuff on the way. I, yeah. I don't know. We're if kind we, of yeah. just having a day of it, so. Yeah. If we see something, we'll stop. But I'm on the lookout for food because <laughs> this man is hungry. <laughs> uh, our McDonald's is not holding us over. <laughs> Here we go, the next one. Abby's ready. is leaning into the vintage quite a bit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at this. They got those mannequins on point. <laughs> Crawl over there next door. No. <laughs> you look so fly. So fly. I get this vibe that your dad would love this place. I kind of thought that too. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like funky, kind of cool stuff. <laughs> Weeby wants to get this little cat planter. I don't think this comes like is original. We'd have to find a pot that fits a bit better. Look how cute it is. <laughs> 
See, I told you, he's always looking for the cat stuff. <laughs> Abby's dancing in the music. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. No, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> She's embarrassed. I am embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's another kitty. It says kitten fish bowl. There, I mean, how small would your fish have to be? I guess you have a minnow. <laughs> for uh, like little patent prints for my office. I like the ones and that have like the black background versus the like versus the white tan. ones. Yeah. Do I need a US patent for <laughs> this like Is it a star ship or something? Star Wars. Uh, I don't know what what is the ship? Someone tell me in the comments. So this place has kitties inside. And I've been very distracted trying to find him. And I saw one, but he didn't want to be touched and I couldn't get a pet in. He didn't want to be messed with. Yeah. So we just went through the Fayetteville's Funky Flea Market, which is known to have cats. And I was super excited about it. Um, we did see two cats, but I kind of feel bad for them um, because it's really loud and maybe it's just because it's a Saturday but it's really busy yeah um they're probably used to it though yeah I mean one of them though was definitely like hiding under the like a clothing rack or something <laughs> and I couldn't coax it out <laughs> <laughs> um but that's that's kind of fun that they have cats yeah there. <laughs> last stop <laughs> yeah Were you just getting B-roll? <laughs> Weedy's been a really good sport. You like searching for I do. Junk too, yeah, though. it's kind of fun. Um, there will be a shopping haul at the end of the video. Make sure you watch to the end. Yeah. <laughs> we are dining and teaking and we're on our way to our caboose Airbnb for the night. It's pretty. Hmm. It's like the tail end of winter and there's like signs of spring, but all these like trees are slightly eerie. Still leaves on the ground. There's some green here and there. Though. There's a, yeah, there's a little green. Oh, I think we found it. <laughs> Probably the only uh, railroad car caboose up in the forest. <laughs> That's pretty cute actually. Yeah. That is pretty cute. We just mm -hmm. wanted to do something different. Um, it's this is, actually this really is not cute. what we would typically stay in. It's pretty cute. They've got like a little kitchen net area over here. Mm -hmm. Michael and a little Keurig coffee. A little dining area. <laughs> a little mini fridge. Oh, and look, this says toilet on it. Like, oh, bathroom tour. Here, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we opened the wrong way. There's a toilet. And the sink. So that means the shower, the shower must is like be, over here. Yeah. 
But it has this... Uh, twin bed? Yeah, there's like this little twin bed section here. This is where Weeby is sleeping. <laughs> are we going to sleep in the twin beds? No, you are going to sleep in this twin bed and I'm sleeping in the queen bed. Oh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's probably what's going to happen because <laughs> we're used to a king bed and usually whenever it's a queen bed, we don't sleep very well. <laughs> Here's our closet. Oh, there's a space heater. Weeby. Oh, we were I mean, worried about it being super cold. Yeah. That we'll probably use. Um, okay, so then here's the... Oh, here's the shower. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that is tight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in, like, the bedroom, so... Well, it's frosted glass. Oh. You're not going to get that much of a show. Weeping. I mean, <laughs> still get a little bit as long. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is pretty And cool. then here's the little uh, master area. Yeah. But yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. So let's go pick up sticks for our fire. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a bonfire, or not a bonfire, but a little oh, campfire. Like a yeah. And okay. uh, do some s'mores, s'mores later. But Roasted marshmallow. We're, we're gonna wait till after dinner for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's gonna be dark. We need to pick up sticks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a 1967 Burlington Northern Caboose that they refurbished. Looks pretty cool. Abby's on stick duty. She's uh, working on our fire for later. <laughs> We're gonna make a blazing fire. <laughs> oh. oh, I got her almost falling. No. <laughs> no. Every good bonfire needs a good poker stick. I think this will be just fine. <laughs> we are in Bentonville, Arkansas, the home of Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Um, we are at this place called the 8th Street Market, and it should be one of those that uh, has multiple food options, like a food court kind of thing, but a little bit more like hipster vibe, maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. So we will probably, I don't know, maybe get different things. Who knows? <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of options, though, so I'm yeah. excited. Abby was like, look at the stars. The stars look incredible. I don't, yeah, they're definitely not going to show up on, yeah, on here. Yeah. No, it's just, it's just black. Okay. Um, I wanted to start the fire. Here we go. Abby's going to start the fire. Are you guys fans of the office? <laughs> I'm always like, you know. Ryan, Ryan started, started the, the fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're such dorks. Uh... You, maybe. Mm. Okay, here we go. Let's see her technique. Okay, she put the little cubes in. Don't you have to feed it the little twigs? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's, we've got twigs. They're just kind of all over, aren't they? Yeah, we kind of need to put them, like, in there. Excellent job, Abby. Yes, thank you. We'll check back My, when uh, it's raging. I am an expert. <laughs> Watch. See? Oh, oh, it's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll check back when it's raging. Abby, it's working. <laughs> uh, listen to the fire here. Let's let's hear the fire crackle. Everyone, be quiet. It's so nice. I love it. Uh, yeah, it's like my favorite. Like, and I wish you could see the stars. They're so gorgeous. Yeah. Now, uh, now we've just got to let it uh, die down a little bit so that we can actually do s'mores without just oh no completely I'm, igniting them on fire. I'm keeping it raging. <laughs> raging all <laughs> night long. <laughs> I feel like there's some of you that have been subscribed for like a long time since like our uh, New Zealand trip. 
And I don't think that we've really gotten all that personal with you guys, although, you know, you see our trips and that kind of thing. So I was thinking maybe um, if you've made it this far in the video, you're one of those that watch all of our videos. And hey, I really appreciate you. Like you are who like we do this for. Well, we do it for ourselves, to be honest. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I think that's awesome if you're still watching. So I figured I'd think of a few questions that Weeby and I could answer that maybe you've wondered about but haven't asked us. First question. Oh, boy. I'm nervous. I haven't heard these. <laughs> Weeby. Yes. Why do you go by Weeby? Um, I mean, that's kind of basic. But uh, way back in grade school, um, you know, whenever the teachers would call, uh, roll call, they would always, for some reason, call me by my last name. And then all the kids started doing that. So that's just how it worked out all the years. <laughs> and didn't you say, like, you'd play sports and everybody called each other by their last names? Yeah, a little bit of that. I mean, sports. Like, I played baseball. Um, that's about it. And you were in a fraternity. Yeah. And everybody called you Weeby in your fraternity. And then pretty much everybody in your everybody fraternity got, like, hired on at the same company. <laughs> no, only <laughs> only one person. Mike? Yeah, Mike. He's the only one? Yeah. And he carried on the Weeby tradition. Yep. And then whenever I met Weeby, he introduced himself as Weeby. So that's what I know him as. I mean, if everyone's calling me that, <laughs> why not introduce yourself as that? <laughs> the only people that call him by his first name, which is? William. Is, is really my his parents. parents probably yeah <laughs> i try to call him william around his parents to be respectful but he's my weeby <laughs> <laughs> now that i answered what my name is uh what is your name abby <laughs> okay so my name is abby it is not abigail mm. i am not an abigail um my mother <coughs> My mother was a fan of the Beatles, and they have that um, album, Abbey Road. Right. And she really liked the name Abbey, um, but she didn't want to spell it like the church, you know, spelling like A-B-B-E-Y. Um, my dad's name is Ricky, and it's spelled R-I-C-K-I-E. So she decided, mm -hmm. like, kind of like in honor of the Beatles to name me Abbey, but A-B-B-I-E. And then my middle name is Ray, because my dad's name is um, Ricky Ray. Mm. But I spell, my mom spells mine, A-B-B-I-E-R-A-E. -E. So my name is Abby Weeby. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rhymey there. Yeah. I never thought I would end up with a name like Abby Weeby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, next question. How did you and I meet? Um, well... It was 2009. No, 2010. It was a year 2000. It was the year 2010. Oh. I was brokenhearted <laughs> trying to get over a really bad boy. And I decided on a whim to get on Match.com. And I had a lot of fun going on dates. Dates. Not what you're thinking. I went on several dates. Hmm. And um, just to get my mind off of this uh, particular boy. And I ran across Mr. A man. <laughs> that's what happened. Um, that's a great reply. <laughs> um, I ran across Weeby's um, Match.com profile, and I shot him. I slid into the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I think the part that really got you was the part where I said uh, that I listened to music, anything but country. Oh, yeah. And I was like. You said, I'll, challenge accepted. I was like, I'll convert him. Yeah. And guess what? Not only does he listen to some country, but he listens to bluegrass. Oh, Some modern yeah, bluegrass. Yeah. Sarah DeRose. Look her up. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go to school? Uh, so I grew up in Oklahoma City, and I went to a really large high school where it seemed like all of my guy friends went to OU, University of Oklahoma, and all of my girlfriends went to OSU, Oklahoma State University. And um, I decided to go to OU with my buddies. <laughs> oh, bros before hoes. <laughs> also, I don't really like the color orange. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but yeah so i went to ou and i started out doing um computer engineering because i didn't really know what i wanted to do and i just like to play computer games and so i thought that kind of fit and uh made it a couple years and switched to electrical engineering because i hated the programming part of it <laughs> And now I work at a company where all I do is program. <laughs> so tell so, me, tell me about your job. I love like how interesting your job is. Tell everybody about your job. Um, I mean, I don't know that it's that interesting. It is interesting. Uh, I work for a company called Flight Safety and I had never heard of them until I got a call when I got out of college. And um, they design and build uh, flight simulators and to train pilots and i do computer programming on those so you hated computer programming in college but yep. now you find yourself programming every day yes i mean <laughs> it is like a giant video game that i'm programming so that is kind of fun yeah but yeah it has to be the right topic for it to be interesting i guess yeah how about your job um i am a registered nurse and I currently work on a um, medical surgical floor, or med surg for short. And we see um, patients who are stable that can range from your little grandma who has a UTI, a urinary tract infection, all the way to you come in with appendicitis and you have your appendix removed. And, you know, I, you know, would be possibly your nurse for your night stay. I'm currently working in the uh, charge charge nurse role which is where I kind of float around on the floor help all the nurses when they have questions that kind of thing it is kind of like a promotion like kind of um, position I know I don't want to do that forever I've um, thrown my back out a couple times doing it like it is very labor intensive it's like 12 hour shifts so I get there um, I clock in around 6 30 a.m. I clock out yes. any, anywhere between like 7 7 30 if it's a bad day 8 um p.m and that can be really rough you know i'm talking like maybe you get to go use the bathroom once your shift you're lucky if you grab a bite to eat it's go 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 all the time fast 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 and so i have thrown my back out you know like pulling patients up in bed and that kind of thing and i am not no spring chicken no spring chicken <laughs> I'm going to be a good old 37 this year. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know what I want to do long term. I'm going to get out of um, bedside for sure, just for, you know, my back and, and that kind of thing. So we'll see what the future holds. How long have we been married, Abby? We got married in uh, September of 2011. And um, this year we will celebrate 13 years. 13, that's forever. <laughs> That's the longest relationship I've ever had in my life. <laughs> uh, and it's, you know, all relationships have their up and downs. But um, at the end of the day, I'm extremely thankful for the life that we have built. And uh, we'll see what the next 13 Chapter. years. <laughs> Chapters bring. Yeah. Weeby. Yes. Do you have any siblings? I do not. <laughs> I am an only child. Can you tell? He loves it. No, I do kidding. love it. <laughs> no, I will say, I did have like a prejudice against um, people who were only child kind of children. people. Children. Whatever. Um, I was like, man, they're spoiled. They're selfish. Whatever. That is all of the above. <laughs> and then I met Weeby and he like really shattered those... Um, <laughs> ideas of everyone being an only child being like terrible people that's a terrible thing to say um but weeby is not that at all he's loving and caring and he is an incredible spouse and he's an incredible this is more like your interview question well yeah okay <laughs> he uh really loves my family and um he's a good guy oh you're so sweet <laughs> So, Abby, what's the number one question that you get asked? I, you know, people that I, I like are new to me that, you know, new people in my life, like maybe new coworkers or whatever, they always assume I'm a mother being my age. So I get asked, how many kids do you have? That kind of thing. And, 
you know, we don't have children. We, um, we did try and we were unsuccessful. Um, and you know, I don't know what our, our future holds in that regard. Um, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But um, we have a niece named Amanda who we love on. And so that's fun to get to kind of spoil her. And then- Which is your sister's daughter. With Yes, my sister. I have one sibling, an older sister who I love dearly. You all, if you yeah, if are you've one that the... watched our videos, um, my sister and brother-in-law and Amanda, um, we went to uh, Winter Park and we did a little family vacay and that was fun. Um, but yeah. We have no children. So we uh, survived our night in the train car. <laughs> it was very cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's basically like a metal box with no insulation. So, uh, well, I mean, it is a piece of train. Equipment. I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it probably got to like 35 last night or something. Fahrenheit, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, so it was pretty chilly. Um, <laughs> it was it was basically like camping, which Abby and I do a ton of that. <laughs> um, no, so uh, it was fine. Uh, this morning we're going to uh, run and get some coffee because mm -hmm. we're both tired. and Maybe some donuts. Maybe some donuts. And then um, we found that there's a... Um, Goodwill bins here. I've in, never had a bin experience. Yeah, in Rogers, Arkansas. So let's go check that out. See how excited Abby is about this. I've always wanted to <laughs> dig through the bins of junk. She wants to dig through the bins. And find some treasures. And find treasures. I'm my my guess is it's gonna be a bunch of junk. So Abby found some clothes. So um, we spent $14 on clothing. Our hospital um, sometimes has patients who don't have clothing um, when they discharge home. Maybe the clothing they had were was destroyed or torn up or something. And um, you know, cause we see people of all backgrounds. And so we have a donation drive to collect clothing for patients when they discharge home. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity. I went through and found really good stuff that doesn't have like holes or rips and you know, in really good condition um, to donate to work for those patients. Yeah. So yeah, we found some good stuff. So we made it home and this is our little haul. This little um, painting here is like an original and I think it would look really good just on a bookshelf. And then I got some lavender water pillow mist because it smells really good. And then this was really cute. It's like a little piggy bank, you know, for a friend. And then this I thought was beautiful. Um, it's like you can hang it because um, it's got a little hook back here to hang on the wall. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but I really liked it. And it, I think it was only $8. So, so that's all I got. I think Oreo approves. Oreo, what you think? Yeah, is that good? <laughs> if you made it this far in our video, thank you so much for watching and comment Oreo down below so I know you watched the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>